circular economy. It's, it's the antonym and the counter movement from the current conventional economy, which is a linear economy, taking too much from nature and dumping too much into nature. I, I can add to it. And, and when we're taking and making things, we're also using a lot of uh, energy in it, which causes more carbon dioxide for greenhouse uh, climate change and stuff, right? So I'm not sure if you have seen this scheme before. It's uh, it's from Alan McCarter. Alan McCarter Foundation is, is probably the most well-known organization on circular economy. Uh, they showed this uh, visualization how the economy should run uh, dealing with our resources and the strategy we got for maintaining things, reusing things, refurbishing and recycling. And I also stress on the smaller circles are, are better to manage, better to maintain and more effective uh, to keep its value. Because if you maintain a product, it stays a product rather than breaking it down, recycling it and making it back to a product. This is a bigger loop, more effort and more cost in it. So that's in a nutshell uh, how a circular economy works. These are the same images and it's also based on, on the, the butterfly diagram, but here it's called the, uh, the, the value hill. We're taking things from nature. They don't have much uh, economical value at that time, but by processing the system, by processing them uh, into products and bringing them to the store and to the user, at the user it has its highest value. So it's a value hill. And after the user is done with it, it could dump it by reducing it to zero value. Whereas in a circular economy, it would reduce its value a little bit, maintaining it and bring it again to the maximum value or reusing it, redistributing it by reselling the product to somebody else through a shop, bring it back to the user at its maximum value or refurbishing or recycling. But then the system is uh, larger and you decrease the value before you can increase it again. You see that? And in a circular economy, um, you can burn your resource uh, to make energy of it. That's not a loop because after you use the energy of it, it's gone. So that, that's, that's leakage in a circular economy, but still better than dumping it into nature, right? Is that all clear? Any questions so far? Our project is about um, biogas. So in a way we've kind of, like I've done research on circulatory systems and basically how you really need to, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle a lot of the things. So our, like mm -hmm. the point of our project is to recycle as much as Victoria's um, you know, waste um, as much as possible <laughs> and sort of just put it back into um, local communities and try and um, the premise is basically um, creating like these uh, community gardens um, where you could take the fertilizer from the biogas um, and re-inject that natural gas back into the local community and also give them, you know, fertilizer. Um, so I really, really like your idea and I think it really, um, or at least what you're talking about, your topics, um, I think your PhD is really interesting um, and I think it's a really, I don't know, I, with circulatory <laughs> systems, I'm like Thanks so interested much. in that sort of stuff at the moment. So it's really like on par with what my project is sort of looking at as well. Awesome. Okay. You said you work with biogas as a energy resource and with yeah. food waste, I assume you want to take the fertilizer out of the food, right? Yeah, yeah, basically. Um, we would, yeah. Uh, our project is trying to create a community led initiative where we take um, food waste from, you know, um, smaller communities and then make that into, uh, yeah, put them into a community biogas tank and then produce both fertilizer for like um, their use as well as natural gas and sort of lower that. Yeah. It's like a, um, how would I say, social enterprise sort of thing. Or um, would would try yeah, to... it can happen bottom up, right? And 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 you localize the yeah uh, yeah the that's resources. that's a that's a really interesting point you were saying about localizing it too, because that's sort of what we're trying to do, sort of keep it in the local community, so you don't you know use transport and then you know create more of that. You said food for um CO two is like food for trees and stuff, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> 